Hey guys, welcome back. So finally, Android 11 DP3 is out and I have got it working on my Redmi Y2. So before reviewing, let me tell you that this is a GSI and you can install it on any device. Also the bugs found also will vary. Going to the about section, as you can see the Android version says R and under build number it says Irfan GSI tools. Before continuing in the video, let me tell you that this build of GSI is quite unstable as it's still a developer preview. So if you want to try out, you can try Android 11 features but you cannot use it as daily driver. Calling on my device is not working and moreover camera and flashlight are also not working. Scrolling down and going to system. Going to system navigation control under gesture. Over here you get the gesture navigation. Besides gesture navigation you also get the settings to adjust the sensitivity. You can choose different options for left and right edges according to your requirement. And the system just crashed. Let it reboot. Now going back to the menu. You get a special option of cards and passes in this build. Basically using this feature you can store cards like banking and paytm and also some passes. Going to notification shared. As you can see the classification between alerting notification and silent notification are much more refined. Going to recent menu, over here you get the option to save screenshot and also share below the screen. Going to the notification shared, over here you also get the option to record your screen. Over here you can also record audio via microphone. Now for installing this GSI, you will need to download the file given in the description. If you are using any device other than Redmi Y2, then you should flash a custom ROM which will be used in the vendor partition. In my case, I have used Dubfest OS and also I will link it in the description. Make sure that you have extracted the GSI before you flash. Once you are in your recovery, go to Wipe and Wipe System Cache Dalvik Data and Vendor. Right Wipe and Wipe the Partitions. Once done, navigate to the dubfest OS file that I have linked in the description. Now swipe and flash the file. After flashing, go to wipe and select system cache dalvik data and wipe. Now navigate to the GSI file and flash it as system image. The image should look something like this. Flash this file as system image. Once you have flashed the file, reboot. You will be rebooted into pixel experience. Booting might take up to 15 minutes, so be patient. After successfully booting, you will be seeing the home screen. So that's it for today guys. If you enjoyed the video, do like, share and subscribe for more updates.